We all get paid the same 24 hours each day. The universe gives us time. It gives us 24 hours a day. And we don't know how many of those days we're going to have. And I want to ask you, how are you going to spend this time, this currency that the universe, your creator or God or whatever is given to you? How are you going to create it? And or how are you going to spend it? And the answer to that is going to define your success, your happiness, your fulfillment. Because when it comes down to time, we are all created equal and we all get paid the same amount. So what is kill, skill, and chill? So think of, let's, let's break these down uh, about... What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And today is going to be really the next level, groundbreaking type of time management and energy control of, of a freak freedom lifestyle. It's the next level of time management. This is like time blocking and time management on freaking steroids. That's what it's going to be. And we're going to get straight down to it and right to just the punch so you can use this information right off the bat. This is almost an alternative productivity hack that I use in my own life and been using for a while and I've put it together in this in this form and it's called it's it's all about kill, skill and chill. These are different types of days, different segments of the week and again, if you followed this process and this show for a while, the previous the time blocks we have an entire course on time blocking. This is the next level of that and this is going to change the game for you especially if you're an entrepreneur. But even if you're not, even if you just have a nine to five job, this will still work for you on this on the scale of in a day-to-day -day basis, the segments of the day. And it's kill, skill, chill. And this is such an in-depth topic that we could sit here for hours and hours and talk about, but I just want to get the overview of it, the point across of it, because just the overview alone will help you start changing the way you operate and start thinking about how you approach your day, how you approach your productivity and your time management and, and this is all about how to create a freak freedom lifestyle. That's what this is about. And it's kill, skill, and chill. And, and let's break this down about how this works. Because let me tell you, we, only, we all get paid the same 24 hours each day. The universe gives us time. It gives us 24 hours a day. And we don't know how many of those days we're going to have. And I want to ask you, how are you going to spend this time, this currency that the universe, your creator or God or whatever is given to you? How are you going to create it? And or how are you going to spend it? And the answer to that is going to define your success, your happiness, your fulfillments. Because when it comes down to time, we are all created equal and we all get paid the same amount. So what is kill, skill, and chill? So think of, let's, let's break these down uh, about how this works. Think of kill as in your deep work, getting shit done, making big impact, making money, the high level above and beyond the higher calling, the most important shit you're doing in your life type of work or type of day. Today's a Tuesday. For us, Tuesday is kill day. We break these down on days of the week. Then a skill day. For us, a skill day is a Monday and sometimes a Wednesday or Wednesday's like half skill, half chill. We'll go into the breakdowns of that in a second. But a skill day is a day that you're maybe having some meetings, uh, doing having some appointments, you're doing some courses, you're doing a little extra reading, you're doing the busy work that you're doing, stuff that needs to get done, still needs to get done by you, but it's not that high level where you need to be in the zone, in the freak flow. But also, the stuff that you're working and learning on the skill day is what's going to help you implement it and attack on the kill day. So you're finding, fine tuning the machine on the skill day so you can attack the kill day. Then the third segment is the chill day. The chill day is just let's what, it, what it's called. It's chilling, but and we're going to go into the deeper what it really means and how it works and all that in a second. But the chill day is where you are resting, relaxing, recovering. And it's not just a day off, but think of it as active recovery for your mind and your business so that you are 
more capable of going all out and overboard on the kill day. It's, a, it's cold. We're just going to do a quick, straight, punchy overview of how this works. I actually have an entire course on this, an entire keynote speech on this, and it goes all the way into detail, breaking down examples of what days look like, how we break them down, and we'll go into some of that, but this we can go on for hours and hours on this topic. I just want to give you the overall overarching idea of this so that you can start implementing it right away off of just a, a quick 15, 20-minute episode here. Because let me tell you, you'll never have clarity or peace or creativity or fire if you're always on. Like you need chill days just as much as you need the kill days or maybe even more because here's how it works. Here's how it breaks down. There is no kill without the skill because the skill develops you and puts the chess pieces into place so you can go into the kill. So there is no kill without skill. And then there is no skill without the chill because you're not going to have the energy or the bandwidth if you don't detach and have that chill time, that, that recovery time. So therefore, there is no kill without the chill. And, and flip that around. Conversely, there is absolutely no chill without the motherfucking kill. You got to earn those chill days. And think about this. You're on a kill day, right? And you've earned the chill day. You know that you have a chill day coming up the next day and you're on a kill day right now. And you know you have the chill day coming up. It's going to make you work a hundred times more, a better focus going all out because you know you're going to, let's say, take the next day off. It's not really a day off, but just for the context, let's say it's your, you know you're taking the next day off. So on that kill day, the work day, you know that you have a day off coming up, a chill day. It's going to make you, you're going to go all out. You're going to go overboard. You're going to go above and beyond. You're going to do get more done in that day than most people are gonna get done in a week because you know you have a chill day coming up. So it's a little bit of pressure, a little bit of stress. You're pushing and pressing yourself. Also, maybe a drop of weaponized anxiety like, oh shit, I better get all this stuff done because tomorrow I'm not going to get any of this kill type work done. So now you earn that chill day. Now you're on the chill day and we'll go into what that looks like in a second, but you're on that chill day and coming back to a kill day, let's say the next day after that, it's like knowing, oh shit, I just took a day off. Now I better go 10 times more harder today than I did last time because I just took a day off. I better make up for that. And I also know I have another chill day coming up. So now it's like, think about a sandwich from both ends. That is how you light that fire and get more done in less time, more high quality work done, more productive, efficient, effective income and impact making work done in such a short amount of time. Like, let's think, let's think if you, you think you're always just going to kill every day. You're like, I'm a savage. I'm just going to keep attacking. I'm, I'm built for this and blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to grind it out. Now, don't make me no mistake about it. There is a time to grind out and time to go through sprints. But let's just say you think you're going to do that all the time. And I've been there. And you go and you kill, 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 kill. You're hunting, constantly hunting in the battle, in the fight. Kill days, going after it. And every day you're, you're, you're hunting and you're killing. You, you, you're going to get a mouse a little mouse every day. Once in a while, maybe a rabbit. On a good day, maybe a raccoon. So a little mouse, rabbits, raccoon, back to some mouse, kill, kill, and it's just across the board. It's consistent. It's good enough. It's average. It's mediocre because it's impossible to just kill all the time. Now think of it this way. You kill a day or two. You have a chill day. You have a skill day, and you go back to, to kill. So on the, on, the, on the chill and skill days, Maybe you're getting nothing. You're, you're actually getting no animal, nothing, zero. But then on the kill day, you're getting a fucking elephant. You're getting a woolly mammoth. You're getting a blue whale. So you're getting a hundred times more on that one day than you would have if you just were keep chipping away the small amount every day. And the only way you're able to get such a big feast and a big reward and a big outcome is because of the skill and the chill days that set the table and set the tone and gave you the energy and the bandwidth and the downloads from the universe to go get that freaking woolly mammoth and hunt it down and get the massive impact. The higher level work is what the kill day happens and what we get down to. And think of a kill day being attacking, the, the, the skill day being planning, and the chill day being reflecting. Think of kill being building, the skill day being growing, and the chill day being learning. Or implementation on the kill day, 
generation on the skill day, you're generating things, and regeneration on the skill day. So the skill or the, the chill day. So the skill day is regenerating. The skill day is generating, actually getting things motion, putting pieces into place. And then the kill day is actual implementation of what you just generated from the regeneration. Think about that. Or think of the the chill day as visualizing and the skill day. So the chill is you're visualizing. Then the skill is, all right, you're strategizing what you just visualized. And then the kill day, all right, I'm going to go weaponize what I just strategize and visualize. See how this flow goes? And so you could take it from either direction. The kill days set up this, the, the chill days, the chill days set up the skill days. The skill days make them both possible. The kill is velocity. The kill is the kill is this the velocity. The skill is the trajectory. And and the chill is the recovery. Think about that. Or activity and creativity and clarity. See how this breaks down. This is the flow. This is what you need to think. There is no peace on the chill day without the war of the kill day, without the pre- preparing of the skill day. See how that all works? This is how you need to operate. This is how you need to attack this stuff. Let's let's have some fun with it. It's like the chill day is just a civilian. The skill day is a soldier and the kill day is motherfucking Rambo taking on armies single-handedly. That's the way you need to think of it. All right, there's not much getting done this day, but it looks like there's not much getting done on a, on a chill day. But the chill day, the purpose of the chill day is to download information. You're probably going to have breakthroughs. It's an active recovery. You're still training hard. You're still doing your daily disciplines, your workout, your meditation, your journaling, your reading, whatever else, your foundational daily disciplines. Those get done every day, no matter what. And, and on that day, you're going to probably be taking notes and thinking stuff. And listen, the worst case scenario of a chill day, the worst possible scenario of a chill day is that you're rested and recovered and regenerated so that you can attack the kill day like freaking Rambo. And you may not have some big major breakthroughs or downloads from the universe or the next big million dollar idea. And if you're sitting there on chill day, just sitting around waiting, like, all right, this is the chill day. I'm supposed to have these big breakthroughs. And when's it going to happen? You have all this anxiety about it. Guess what? Ain't nothing going to fucking happen. Not even the recovery and the regeneration because you're wearing yourself mentally and emotionally. You're going to go back into the kill day more tired than when you started because you wasted the chill day instead of weaponizing it. Here's one quick story that fits in. We we did this anti uh, the chamber, the and sensory deprivation chamber. It's like a, a pitch black pod you go into. It's filled with like a foot of water or, or one foot of water, I think. But there's like thousands of pounds of, of salt in there or hundreds of pounds of salt in that like foot of water. So you just lay on that water and you float on the water. You can't even, you can't sink. And they close the doors. You have ear, earbuds in. So you don't hear anything. You don't see anything. You're just floating and you're just locked in this chamber for an hour. And you're just sitting there. And I remember I only did this once. And now that I'm thinking about this, I need to do this again with a different perspective. I sat there for the whole hour thinking, all right, there's supposed to be some magic happening here. And I sat there in this, this sensory deprivation chamber for an hour and the whole time, like, all right, when's this next break? We're going to happen. I thought I was going to have some marketing idea, some, something, some download was going to come from the universe or from God or something, some sign or some symbol or something was going to happen in there. And I sat there for an hour stressing and, and full of anxiety. I got out of this thing more stressed, more tired than I did before I went in because I went in there with these like ridiculous expectations that something was going to happen instead of just going in there and fucking chilling and immersing into the experience and then detaching and whatever happens, happens. If nothing happened at worst, I'm just going to be recovered and regenerated. Same thing with a chill day. You need to detach. You need to release it. Think of a, a chill day as like a, a, a fucking vegan the skill day is just that balanced nutrition and the, the kill day is a motherfucking meat-eating hunter to break it down. Or Tyson came up with this one. Chill day is like weed and skill. He's shaking his head. No, I didn't come up with it, but he always makes fun of me. He's like, why would you say this? We originally said that chill day was weed and skill day was meth and, and kill day was cocaine because I guess apparently we don't know much about it. Then we researched it and found out that crystal meth and it's like a hundred times more addictive than heroin and cocaine and much worse than the effects. So actually the meth would be the kill day. So the weed would be the chill day. You're just chilling. The weed would be the chill day. 
the the, the cocaine would be the skill day because you're you're focused, you're getting stuff done, and you're still a, a sharp and on, on tar, but not killing it. And then the meth is like shit. We're just bouncing off the walls. We're getting shit done, getting high as a motherfucker. Although I've never done any of those, that's why I had them in the wrong order. I don't even know what order they were in. I just thought Coke was the worst, but I guess not. It was different. And think of uh, it, there's the the you know, 10x day is the kill day, a 2x day is a skill day, and then like a zero to one x day is a chill day. Make no mistake about it. The chill day, there are parts of the chill day where you're just vegging out. That's the de- times to go play the video games, watch the Netflix series for part of the day that you earned, but the real purpose of the chill day is to have active recovery. Get out there. Go for a hike. Go for a bike. Go for a walk. Get outside. Get some sun. Do a little extra reading, a little extra working out, a little extra stretching, a little extra meditating, a little extra reading and writing and journaling, and you're going to come up with so many different ideas and thoughts and breakthroughs, and magic's going to fucking happen that you can go to the skill day and start placing and strategizing all that together so you can go implement like a motherfucker on the kill day. So kill day, think of it like 100% all out. Skill day, maybe 70%. Chill day is like a 30 to 40%. So it's not zero. Just think of it that way when you start breaking it down. And like I said, it's wanted to be a straightforward, a real short episode just to break this down for you. There's a whole entire course on this and we dive deep into all these and help craft this in your day, in your life. And in, in the Freak Father Alliance, which is the men's mentorship group coaching program. And we, if you want information on that, just send me a private message. I'll get you onboarded. We'll get you set up into the program. We have weekly calls where we meet together and we craft out things like this and set them up for your day. Like for instance, my schedule, Monday is a skill day. Tuesday is a kill day. Wednesday is a kind of a floater day. It's a, it depends on what's needed that week, depends on what's going on. But in general, it's a skill slash chill day. Then Thursday's back to a kill day. Friday is straight chill day. Saturday's a chill day also. And then Sunday's kind of a skill slash chill day. So you can see there's a lot of chill going on in there because it's needed because we're going hard as a motherfucker on the kill days. And we help craft men craft these kind of days with their time blocks in the Freak Father Alliance, the men's mentorship group coaching program. Send me a message. I'll get you set up. I'll get you hooked up. There's always different promotions going on. I'll hook you up with the best possible set up right now, and it includes a full access to the Infinite Freak Fitness Formula, which is the last workout program you ever need. You'll have access to that for life. We can literally get you started and on into the pro- group program today. So send me a message. We will hook you up with that. Go and kill, skill, and chill your way to your ultimate ideal freak freedom lifestyle. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.